Hello, everybody. Welcome to another English lesson. <laughs> um, we've been looking at compiling, putting together all of the different pieces of our online magazine um, or our handwritten magazine. What we're looking at today, and I, I'm already going to apologize because I caught myself. I got my eyes tilting this way because I got my second screen over here with my recording thing, making sure it's all good. Sorry, guys. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is how to be how to write a review. So when we're looking at um, at what a review is, that's something that you guys might see a new movie that's coming out or a new book that's coming out. A new game and you might say oh I don't know if I want to buy that I don't know if I want to see that or read that I want to ask someone what their opinion is now you could go up and say you know oh mom dad brother sister neighbor cousin dog whatever you know what do you think about this but if you're not sure you might go and look at a YouTube review or look at a website review or look at any other different type of review so we're going to give it a shot today at practicing our own review. So we're going to look at all of the different parts and then we're going to look at how we can put it all together. So first, I've asked you guys to try and read a book. Um, and if you haven't been able to read your own book, I've had us covered with Gangster Granny, <laughs> but that's okay. It's not too late to start now. Um, if you haven't read a book, we can review a couple of other things, so let's not stress too much. So, I've broken it up into four parts. One, two, three, four. Our summary, likes, dislikes, and your recommendation. So, a summary is where we kind of want to break down what we're looking at. We want to take out all of the important... We want to take out an understanding of what's going to happen without telling everyone everything that's going to happen. It's like if I told you guys, oh, you have to watch the Hosni movie. It's the best. Hosni battles against aliens. And then at the end of the movie, you find out he actually is an alien. Oh, you spoiled the ending of the movie. It would have been so great. But now I don't really want to see because I know what's going to happen. So we want to give the introduction a summary of the start of it, not the end of it. So when we're looking at this, we're going to be talking about the type of story or the genre. When we're talking about genre, we're talking about things like, is it an, is it action, comedy, drama, um, you know, what, what type of story is it? I want to know what I'm getting into. Is it medieval with like knights and whatnot, you know, knights and castles and ooh, catapults. What type of story are we talking about? Here's where you can talk about the type of story in the genre, you know? Shrek is a comedy animated movie that's set in a fairy tale place. With this, we're moving straight into the next part of the setting. Where is it set? Shrek is set in a fairy tale land. John Wick is set in, I think it's America. I'm not sure actually now that I think about it. Um, you know, where is it set? Gangster Granny is set in. Um, England, oh. where is the story taking place? Then we're talking about the main characters. We didn't, not every single character. We don't need to hear about the side, side character, the person that owns that shop down the street that the uh, main character talks to once. Just the really big important characters. Who they are, why the reader might like them <clears throat> so you could say that one of the main characters in this in this movie of hosni versus aliens was hosni you might like hosni because he is exactly like the rock he's a rock's twin except he's even bigger and stronger than the rock <laughs> and then we're going to finish off with an introduction to the story here's where we're going to be talking about the beginning of the story with, I'm going to put this in capital letters, no spoilers. No one really wants to read a, a review if you're going to give out all of the spoilers. You know, if I told you what was going to happen at the end of the movie, 
it would turn a lot of people off watching the movie. Then we're moving into the likes. What did you like about the movie? Slash book slash game. Was it something about the story? Was it something about how it played, how it turned out? What was it that you liked about it? And then dislikes. What did you not like? And I'm just going to copy and paste this because I'm lazy. <laughs> so it's talking about what we did like, what we didn't like. And then finally, our recommendation. You know, I give this one, two, three, four, five, five stars. Or I give this. Oh, wait, not that one. I lost it. One, two, three out of five stars. So I give it three stars out of five stars. You can set this up how you'd like. Now, let's have a little bit of a run through of a story that we can think of. I don't know why, but let's start with Shrek. Now, I might get some of the details wrong, so I apologize if I do. Okay, so Shrek. Let's start off with a summary. What is the type of story? Shrek is an animated comedy movie. Full stop. It is set in a fairy tale. I wrote the wrong tale there. Fairy tale land where different characters from old stories are there. Full stop. So here we've hit the genre and the setting in our first two sentences. Now the main characters. The main characters are Shrek, Donkey, and Lord Farquaad. Full stop. I know that there are other characters, but we're not going to focus too much on all of those other characters. We're going to stick with these ones for now. Because here we've got the two good guys and the villain. Shrek is an ogre, comma, and everyone knows that ogres are like onions, comma, they have layers. Here I tried to, try to be a little bit creative and take a line from the movie talking about um, ogres being like onions. Shrek wants to be left alone, but he learns that he has to help his friends. Donkey starts off as a character that annoys Shrek, but he is very funny and made me laugh throughout the movie. Full stop. Lord Farquaad is the villain or the bad guy of the movie. He makes Shrek and Donkey make some tough decisions. So here's where I wanted to introduce Lord Farquaad, but not go into too much detail. Boom, there's our introduction. Part two, our likes. Oh, whoops. In Shrek, I really liked, and here's where you can talk about the things that you liked. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but you can say I really liked the jokes, dot, dot, dot. You can talk all about the jokes. I also liked seeing all of the characters 
from old fairy tales. Now we're up to our dislikes. I disliked dot dot dot. Here's where you can talk about what you didn't like about the movie. I disliked the middle of the movie. I felt like they were dragging out the story. I don't actually dislike the middle of the movie. I just was trying to think of something that you could dislike. I haven't seen Shrek in a little while. And then our recommendation. I give this movie four out of five stars. So, finishing off what I want from you guys. I, we're going to, today, write up two reviews using this type of format. I want you to write one movie review of a movie that you've seen and write one book review. If you can't write a review on a book, don't stress. Um, work on a second movie review. If you need help, remember we're here to help you guys out. Um, put your questions in the Google Classroom. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time.